the word of God to endure and to be living. I, I want to I share with you uh, something that I heard years ago from a pastor. And every time I, I read this, it moves me. I, I don't know if it's going to move you, but it moves me to thankfulness. It moves me to have a, a stronger desire to keep reading the word that I've read so many times. It becomes fresh. I want to share that with you. It's, it's a little long, but I think it will be worth it. And who knows, I've been praying that it moves you to thankfulness. Here's what this pastor said. The Bible is the enduring, living word of God because its predictions are correct. Its judgments are indisputable. Its corrections are timeless. Its assertions are reliable. God's word is more definite than the Constitution. It's stronger than the backbone of science. It's the foundation of highest philosophy. It's the inspiration of poetry. It's the motivation for music. The word of God will build your faith. Feed your soul. It will fight your temptations. It will light your path. It will clarify your decisions. It will cleanse your conscience. Its words are wisdom. Its claims are true. Its hope is eternal. And it will not disappoint. Oh, time cannot age this book. And ages do not time it. You have read a lot of books, but only this book is the one that will read you. And when you are at your lowest, the word is at its highest. When you cannot fix yourself, the word of God will fix you. End of quote. I don't think we can continue uh, in Isaiah 40 until we just sort of take a pause break and say this, praise God, that without the enduring living word of God, all the lies of this world, all the lies we tell ourselves will eat us alive. And that's why we need the word of God so that we, you, me, can hear the voice of God. That's why Psalm 1 says, plant yourself in the word. We can't plant ourselves in pastor's messages that includes mine. You can't plant yourself in a three-minute devotional. You can't plant yourself in Christian podcasts that you listen to or Christian books or, 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 or sermons. All right? That can help you. That can grow your faith. That can build your faith. That can't be your foundation. It has to be the forever, living, enduring word of God. And just in case there's a few of us that are thinking, all right, I, what are you saying, Travis? I'm saying this, the people who hear God's voice the best are those who know God's word the most. And the best way to get a word of God is to do what we do every Sunday, is to open his word. May that happen to, for you on a regular, daily, consistent basis. Open his word and allow Jesus, the great I am, to speak.